It's time to write titles for your posts. So there are a few things that I want you to understand that will really help you to make sure your title is optimized for SEO. But I don't want you to stress this too much because there isn't an exact formula to use for a title. It's a creative endeavor of what you're doing to try to get the right attention to the post to get people to actually click on it and to tell Google what your post is actually about. So when we open up the search analysis document, we're able to see the column that shows where you in input the title. And it's important that you see the primary search query right next to it, but I want you to actually Google the topic again. So let's say we take buying a horse at auction. I should be not signed into Google, we'll fudge this time, that's all right. So I see the first result is a list of tips on how to buy a horse at an auction or how to do so well. Whatever the first result is, that's telling me a lot. It's saying of the whole web, right now Google thinks this is the best thing. Google is extremely good at understanding the searcher intent. It's gonna try several different types of things on that page until it says, aha, searchers are happy now. And so what it's ranking as number one is probably the type of content we wanna have. And so I'm trying to understand searcher intent. They were looking for a list of tips on buying a, buying a horse at an auction. Facts did okay, but not as well. This one just buying a horse at auction, well, what about it? It doesn't tell me much about that, that title. I'm also going to look at the people also ask how it works. So that's saying they're very, very beginners. They're not even sure how this works. Are they bad in some way, etc. So now I need to craft a title that's going to fit this searcher intent. So we're gonna go back to our document and really there are several different ways I could do this, but because it's a vague query, I'm going to do what we call a buffet title where we say, this is the topic and this is a bunch of stuff we have about it because we're trying to grab several different queries um, that somebody has just searched buying a horse at auction. So I might say buying a horse at auction, helpful tips, how it works, and moral issues. <laughs> That's probably too long. Okay, so now look, this next column, title characters has turned red. That means we're too long of a title. We need to shorten it up. Now, Google keeps changing this around exactly how many characters are going to display on the SERP. But there are a few important things to know. First thing to know is, even though Google is gonna often truncate a title that's too long to display, the benefit of that title could still have an SEO benefit. And so it's not that as soon as this turns red, it's like, ah, you're never gonna rank on Google. It's just that this actually won't be displayed to users, but it could still help. So let's say you're working on uh, the United States Federation of Balloon Owners, right? You're writing articles for their website and you're writing about the organization. Well, that's such a long title that you, we may only get a couple words to talk, talk about safety tips recommended by, and then that, it's just never gonna fit, right? And sometimes you may have a niche or a main topic that's just very long, and so you worry about going over. It's actually not a concern because it still can work for Google having that long title. Just be aware it'll be truncated, okay? But I don't, I don't want this to be cut off. I, would, I do want view, uh, users to be able to see it. So if I switch this to helpful tips, how it works, then suddenly um, th this fits right here. Now, the best titles do two things. They tell you the topic so that you have confidence that, um, that this is even about what you're looking for. And the second thing they do is they add some element of clickability. Now, that may be amazing tips, clever tips, things like that. That could be an element of clickability. We don't want to go too crazy and make this clickbait. But also, you can add clickability by just showing them how you're going to help them. For example, ideas for horse names, 
you could uh, explain by uh, saying, you know, including famous names, names for ponies, uh, say that it's a list, that that's how you're going to help them. This is the format. You're going to get a giant list of things you could look at. So for this one, I think I like this. Buying a horse at auction, helpful tips, and how it works. Now, you need to just decide what your style is. You could do this in parentheses. You could also do this kind of style. Just decide what you want to do on your website, and I like to keep it consistent, just so it looks nice. I capitalize the first letter, you know, just like a book title, and then after any kind of punctuation, I go to more of a, a sentence kind of structure where it's just the first letter uh, capitalized. That's how I do mine. It doesn't really matter for Google. Just do something that makes sense and is look, looks consistent and professional. So we've created a title. Now, it's easier when you have kind of those general topics to create titles. It's a little bit tougher where it's a very niche question. For example, can horses eat peanut butter? So what are we gonna do for the title? I mean, can horses eat peanut butter? Now, that's fine and there's nothing wrong with this, but if we Google that same thing, I mean, look, look at all the titles. Can horses eat peanut butter? 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 Feeding horses peanut butter? Do you really want to stand any chance of getting clicked on? Like how in the world is, is someone going to decide to read this? I mean, look at this. Don't hesitate to read now. I mean, come on, this is the worst title ever. Uh, we need something that's gonna show them why? Give them confidence that you have something special for them. I mean, what if we could say a veterinarian weighs in? Boom. Goodbye, competition. We've just destroyed it. Now, what if you say, but I'm not a veterinarian. I can't do that. Go get a quote from a veterinarian. <laughs> Go call a veterinarian and give, them a, and give them a quotation in the article, right? Like, that's not very hard to do. And suddenly we just destroyed everybody else because when everybody else is called can horses eat peanut butter and we have that, something other than know the real truth or don't hesitate to read now, when we have a, vet a veterinarian weighs in, we're just gonna crush the competition. I mean, absolutely destroy them. Picking a title is a big deal and it's something you wanna think about. Just follow the formula. Describe to them exactly what you're gonna give them and then find a way to give them confidence that you can do that teaching in a way better than the other guys. Some other examples that we've done before, camper weight, somebody's wondering how much an RV weighs, 21 examples. You know, that's what they wanna see, that like, they don't want somebody to see, um, you know, oh, it weighs between 4,000 and 10,000 pounds, and it's like, okay, but which one is it? But it's like, if I just have a big list of examples, cool, I can figure this out. And so creating the titles is really simple. We're gonna go Google it, figure out what the searcher intent is. We're gonna describe it with description and then some element of clickability, and we'll do it right there. It's an art, you're gonna get better at it. Go look at websites that Income School has produced in the past to see kind of how we're crafting titles. Go look at what's ranking number one on different things and you'll eventually get better and better at how to do this. But that's titles.